Hi. So, um, I am doing one of those Christian videos, like triple Christian videos. Today I have a little special message for you. But first, I got some Jesus really quick because I'm kind of nervous and Jesus make me feel pretty good. Okay. If you guys haven't seen my last video, um, I said I was going to start doing a Chris, this Christian video, and um, I was, we were going to like worship God and talk about Him, and it's going to be so much fun. So I hope you will join me today. Let's get right into it. So I'm like an artist, and I made this. Um, dinosaur like a while ago um and let's use our imagination and pretend that this dinosaur can talk okay I know you guys have an imagination and so let's pretend he could talk so this dinosaur um, which I made he came up to me and he said um he said why did you give me this belly why did you give me such tiny hands why did you give me such stubby feet or such a big head and he's like why did you give me this um what did i do to deserve um to be like this and that would make me feel really awful like it would make me like because i made him specially like that specially like that and um he's talking to me like he doesn't like it he's like why why don't you love me because if you love me you would have given me what I wanted or something like that and um I have a verse for you and a lot of people a lot of people will say that to God they'll say um oh why did you give me this chubby belly or why did you give me this ugly hair color or such a like weird head or thick thighs or something like that um and here's a verse for you that I think will really help. So this is um, Ephesians 2.10. Hopefully you can see it all right. It says, for we are God's masterpiece. Masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So we are God's masterpiece. He he thinks we're beautiful and God has made everything he's made the beautiful mountains the beautiful waterfalls when you go outside and see all these beautiful things he made them and he thinks you are so much more beautiful than all those things combined he thinks you're his masterpiece he's like this thing that I created is so beautiful it's so amazing and like it's so it's just <laughs> Like this feeling you get when you're so proud of this one thing you made that he thinks that he knows you're beautiful just the way you are. And he made everything. So he knows he's the one who made beautiful a word. He's the one who defines what is beautiful and good or bad. And he made you and he thinks you are beautiful and not just beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. And... Um, if you think that this, like, having these, um, chubs or something like that isn't something, um, you want, because God, he planned it for you. He planned it all out for you. And, um, for he created you anew. He created you anew in Christ. So you are beautiful. And he has planned for this long ago. He planned for you to be beautiful millions of years for eternity for you just to be the way you are and there and for like a long ago that's tons of time to think differently to um decide to change something and he didn't change anything over thinking over years to do with you he thought you are perfect just the way you were you looked perfect just for him he made it just for you he has something special just for you 
and you're just going to like talk to him like this is something that you don't like, something he's planned for you for so long, and you're just going to be like, oh, well, I don't like this, I don't like this, and like, that's how you treat him? You treat him like, oh, well, this looks terrible, or why can't I be like those pretty models, um, or something like that, because the world thinks that's what you need to be. The world thinks that is beautiful, but if the world was God, they would know that everyone, like, you are beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. Um, God is the one who knows beautiful. He literally created all the most beautiful things in the world, and he thinks you are his best and be most beautiful creation that he made and he has made everything that you've seen and you think that 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 you don't look you have so many flaws you just you think you're not beautiful some people will be like oh I got this I'm not beautiful you are so beautiful but you won't go to like um someone else like and say, oh, well, I don't like this about you. Or you also won't go to, like, a fountain, like a water fountain or, like, a ma fountain that he's made and be like, well, he messed up here. He messed up here. No. So don't, so stop doing it to yourself because it's not true. The devil put those awful thoughts in your head. The devil wants you to feel that way. He wants you to feel that way. And you're giving in to the devil. You don't want that. It is so much better with God. God knows you're beautiful, and he wants you to know you're beautiful. So stop doubting that you're beautiful. Because God made you in his image. In his, like, he made you in his image. And God, he's just so amazing. It's sometimes... I just am talking to him and I literally have nothing to say because he's just so wonderful for all these things that he's done that it's just a feeling he gives me and that would be the same feeling he feels about you. It's hard to describe it because it's just so wonderful. So if you stop doubting that you're beautiful, you will get to feel this wonderful feeling of just God loving you and thinking you're beautiful and knowing you are beautiful, that it's just so amazing. So, I can't stress this enough. Stop, stop thinking you're not beautiful. And even if you don't believe you're um, beautiful, well, you are. So I don't care if you won't believe it, but you are. And I would fight you for it. Um, probably not the best thing to do, but you are so beautiful. So, um, just today, remember that and tell God that you're, like, sorry for, um, doubting his, like, his wonderful, wonderful mind and his, just his wonderfulness to, like, make you the way you are. Because God loves you so much he gave you that body he gave you that life he gave you everything you need even if you're in poverty or something like that but he gave you that specifically for you he did not give it to anybody else so i encourage you stop doubting that you are beautiful thank you so much for watching I love you guys too, and God loves you, and I will see you next Friday, because I'm going to do it next Friday. I'm so excited, okay? See you guys in the next video. Bye!